Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Spartan News. And if you're a sneakerhead, then I suggest you stay for the show. But before we get into that, let's get into news with Bennett. All right, here are your top stories. Late yesterday, eight people were killed and at least seven were injured in a shooting at a FedEx warehouse in Indianapolis, and police have said the gunman was believed to have killed himself. This morning, Officer Cook from the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department told reporters at least five other people had been hospitalized with injuries, including one person who was in critical condition. Officer Cook had said employees at the factory was, were still being interviewed and might not have a chance to contact family. She said the police are working to identify the gunman and no law enforcement were injured. People who hadn't been able to reach family members who worked at the warehouse were asked to gather at a nearby Holiday Inn and would be assisted by representatives of the chaplain's office of the police department. Dr. Donna Desiato, the superintendent of East Syracuse Manoa School District, announced yesterday that the high school is going to be a vaccination site for 16 and 17 year olds on Tuesday, April 20th, 2021, from 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. at the ESM High School. Onondaga County has opened this opportunity to ESM employees as well. They will be using the Pfizer vaccine. The district sent out an email to parents yesterday informing them of this opportunity and instructing them on how to register. They made it clear in the letter that in order to receive the vaccine, the student must have a printed, completed consent form when they arrive for their appointment on Tuesday, April 20th. Each student must have the form signed by a parent or guardian. If students or parents had any questions, they were instructed to contact Mr. Avellino, the executive high school principal. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weight room will close at 5 p.m. every day next week. See Coach Goluski or Coach Gelati with any questions. So I'm sure many people already know what this Nike sneakers app is, but for those who don't, uh, the sneakers app is an app created by Nike that many Nike popular shoes such as Jordans, uh, Nike Dunks, Nike Air Maxes, and a tons more uh, have special release, day release days and they drop on this app. But the thing about sneakers is there's a small chance uh, that you actually win the shoes on the app. And this is due to the limited amount of pairs of each shoe made and the popularity and hype behind of the shoes. So when you go for a shoe that you drop, uh, you basically enter for a raffle on the app and people are selected randomly or it's first come first serve in some cases. So after entering a draw for the shoe, a select amount of people get the lucky got em screen picture which is right there. Uh, with the low chances of you actually getting these shoes, it feels like you've hit the lottery. Today we will have a high of 48 with mixed rain and snow showers. Saturday we will have a high of 51 with cloudy skies. Saturday and Monday we will have rain showers with highs in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Tuesday will warm up to 63 with mixed sun and clouds. Wednesday and Thursday there will be expected snow showers, expected showers with highs of 47 and 54. I'm Gabby with your weather. And just to make sure everybody is clear, the weight room does close at 5 p.m. next week. Uh, so about a month ago, uh, Ann Hubert, the vice president of Nike in North America, had resigned due to a late article by Bloomsburg Business Week. Uh, they released a story of regards to her son, Joe Hubert, who owns a sneaker reselling business called West Coast Streetwear out of a warehouse in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, this was the first time that his relation to the vice president of Nike was made public. 
Joe's goal was to remain anonymous, considering that he didn't want his connection with his mother to be public, even though he requested it not to be mentioned. The article also indicated that Herbert made purchases for West Coast streetwear with a credit card that belonged to his mother. So accordingly, about a week after the Bloomsburg article had released, and Herbert had resigned after 25 years of service on March 1st as the vice president of Nike for North America, which raised many questions. One of them being how her son was able to get his hands on so many pairs of uh, limited sneakers that had previously dropped on the Nike sneakers app. In Anne's role at Nike, she was in charge of over overseeing the Nike sneakers app. Due to speculation, many thoughts to is how Joe was able to get his hands on so many pairs, but an investigation did not provide enough sufficient evidence for that to be proven true, still leaving many in question. Uh, the Nike team stated that the majority of Ann's son Joe's stock was surfaced by using bots, which are programs that cheat releases by buying out stocks at lightning speed on the day the sneakers drop. In a meeting, CEO John Donahue spoke out to his consumers about trusting Nike and being anti-bot use, but unfortunately, this did not stop the skepticism around the scandal. The boys varsity volleyball team defeated Syracuse City on Tuesday night, three games to one. The Spartans were led by Devin Moscato Buffalo with 35 assists and Nick Brown with 11 kills. Also contributing for the Spartans were Eric Callahan with four kills, Keegan Berry with four kills, and Jimmy Ferns with four kills as well. And the team re remained undefeated in league play with a win on Thursday night against Central Square, three games to nothing. The Spartans were paced by Devin Moscato Buffalo with 32 assists, both Aiden Finnery and Nick Brown added 11 kills each. In upcoming games, the boys, boys volleyball team has a game at Gentenango at 6.15. On Saturday, the, boy, the football team plays against Boysboro and the track team has a meet. In MLB news, the Minnesota Twins beat the Boston Red Sox 4-3. Max Kepler's RBI single the ninth gave the Twins the win and snapped Boston's nine-game winning streak. In the NBA, the Boston Celtics beat the Los Angeles Lakers 121-113. Jalen Brown scored 40 points in the win, and for the Lakers, Taylor Horn Tucker had 19. In Syracuse news, Tiana Monacani has signed the deal with the Phoenix Mercury. And I'm Tanner Lee Sports. Knowing that you're a big sneakerhead, what are your thoughts on all right. this? Right, so when I heard about this, it was very disappointing because unfortunately, I've actually never won on the sneakers app. You know, I've gone for every shoe you could think of and I've never won. Uh, yep. Um, I actually have the opposite luck. I've had three pretty yeah, big ones. Right, sneakers, exactly. So. so it's it's really like for the people who don't resell sneakers, for the people who actually enjoy, you know, buying sneakers and, and wearing them and not looking at them as a profit, it really is a shame because even though Nike is saying that, oh, uh, Anne wasn't, you know, providing her son with an astronomical amount of sneakers, there's definitely a lot of skepticism because the amount that he had in his warehouse was absolutely, absolutely insane. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely really disappointing. But, you know, when you have connections like that, things just work out in your favor. So with that, uh, from everybody here at Spartan News, we hope you have a great weekend and a wonderful Friday.